All right, let's see here. So I'm just trying to make sure where my mouse is. Hopefully it's as far out of the screen as it can go. So this is the level where you get lots of gems. That's pretty much the focus of it. It's a little bit tricky at times to get all of the red ones. Hey look, I got a life. Um, they kind of make it so that you're trying to follow the path of the green ones, but sometimes the red one will be kind of like that, where it's below. So they almost trick you. But... No, 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 no! Oh, come on. Well, I missed one. Yeah, there's not really much to say about this level, other than I'm sad that I missed a gem. <laughs> So mostly, this is just kind of a bonus. I'm pretty sure I missed a few though. But you get fireworks, and the fireworks depend on how well you did. That's not bad. I think I missed maybe three. It's hard to remember where they all are. As I was saying in the previous video, oh, hold on. Yeah, I missed three. Um, in the previous video, there is a little trick you can do. I'm just going to skip that. And basically, when you're going through all of this, if you throw an apple, whoops. There we go. Sorry, I just wanted to get that. Um, an apple stuns most enemies, like, for example, those it will kill, but it can also stun enemies, and I just find it a little bit ridiculously easy when you do it that way. There's also a red gem there that I'm sad that I'm not getting. Hey! I think if those fly up under my feet that it should give me credit for killing them. What the... There we go. Pretty much in these, they will jump up and try and kill you. You can use them to get the gems, which is nice. Um, once you kill those guys, you throw the blades. If I didn't already say that, it takes them out. Watch out for those slamming down on you. I don't know if the music is too loud. Um, there's a gem up here that's really easy to get. You just stand on top of this. Also, I like, whoops, I like using this as my way to get here because the snakes aren't always reliable. You can get that if you want, generally it means you get hurt, which sucks. I just kind of float over everything like a cheater. Oops. There we go. I got shot for being a cheater. Again, though, I could throw apples at them and it would stun them and then they wouldn't shoot arrows at me, but I don't like to do that because then the game is just ridiculously easy and silly. I'm not sure if you can throw them at the Iago guys that come later, but hmm, I actually don't know how to get that gem, sadly. But yeah, there's going to be the uh, Iagos. Nope. I can't aim. Yeah, you just kind of have to jump around a lot in these parts. Whoops. Apparently I didn't land on his head. Um, this is kind of a neat idea where, hey! When you swing and let go, then it causes the fire. Maybe I'll see if I can... Whoops. I don't know. I guess you have to be facing them. This here is a scarab, but 
I think I'm gonna die instead of getting it. Oh, no, I got it. And that is the end, and I have one heart. That's pretty sad. So yeah, the end of the game is pretty much just this. <laughs> I mean, it's not that hard, especially if you're using apples. You just jump on people's heads and stuff. And I'm sure there is a way to get every red gem. I just... I haven't played it in so long, and I don't really feel like killing myself for red gems right now. Oh, look at that. I'm pro. I got the genie. I totally wasn't meaning to do that either. Well, isn't that nice? Thanks, genie. He's my pal. And here we go. Whoops. See, it stuns them, but I don't know. Kind of cheapens the whole thing. I'm sure some people could get through this without actually uh, getting hurt at all, but that's not me. Oh my gosh. I want that. I'm gonna wait for the fire to go away. There is a way where you can just kind of... Oh, come on. You can disregard the fire and just kind of go anyway. Oh, stupid arrow guys. Yeah, you lose about, I think, like six or seven hearts in total if you do it that way, so it's not the best way to go. But if you're too lazy to go from platform to flat platform, then that's what you can do. Also, I can barely hear myself talking just because of the... Ah! The music is so loud, but if I don't have it that loud, then you can't hear it in the background and it kind of takes away from the game. So yeah, hopefully you can hear me well enough. Whoops! So this one you just pull the ring and it switches the direction. There we go. There's some chicken. I don't really feel like getting it though. So this one you want to pull the second ring, and that way it takes you out over the spikes. There we go. And that is it. And now you get to fight Jafar in his first form. There is a few different ways you can do this fight. Um, I'm going to turn the music down a little. If you're tricky enough, then you can actually use the birds that he sends down. I call them birds, I don't know. Also, okay, one step at a time. If you can manage... Aw. Uh, see, I didn't do it. If you can get up high enough from the jumps on the birds or the barrel flying things, then you can actually use them to jump on his head. And if you stay to the far left or the far right, his lightning will never hit you. See, like... That's how some people do it. Where I find it kind of cheap to apple them, but whatever. It does make it a lot easier, which isn't necessarily fun. There, it is possible to jump on him if you get your timing right, but whatever. Whoa! That's actually pretty easy and fun. I usually jump on all of those. Just demonstrating that, whoops, the apples can be used that way, and apparently I missed them. Isn't that great? What? I so did not touch him. What is this? He's not even sending his staff out anymore. Oh my goodness, I'm doing this horribly. 
I was just thrown off by like six birds in a row. Yes, every time you jump on his head, he will get mad and do the lightning, so you want to kind of stay out of there. Let's see if I can get him. Ha! Just like that. I'm not even going to try for that. Oh. Okay then. That was a lot faster than I remember it being. That's fine with me. And now for my favorite level ever. But that will come next because that is the end of stage six. Now I just have to find my mouse. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. And I will see you for stage seven.